There we go. Recording in progress. Welcome, everybody, to um, Paper Pumpkin. Uh, we are going to make one of each of the different uh, uh, tags that are included in this month's kit. I am Brenda Miller, Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Basking Ridge, New Jersey. And hopefully you find some alternative ideas that you like when we get to the end and I show you some of the things that I found. But let's go ahead and open our boxes. You probably all did it. Lynn, did you go ahead and open everything already? Opened it, but I haven't done anything. Oh, yet. you haven't done any this time? Okay. <laughs> so, so, you know, this kit coordinates with last month's kit. Ho, ho, ho. And I'm going to go ahead and spotlight my desktop if I can do that. Here we go. So you can see what's going on. All right. But I love the box. Oh, we cute. I saw somebody do a um an advent calendar with it. They had just they just had little envelopes inside and they put it all in this box and they had them numbered and that's what people opened. I thought that was really cute, but clever. Yeah, a little beyond what uh, I was willing to do at the moment. <laughs> so so we have a wonderful cherry cobbler ink pad, which is always handy. Cherry cobbler's a great color to have perfect christmas color and then this is the fun stamp set which surprisingly has a lot of great uses we've got the joy we've got a candy cane um i love that it has the to and the from separately so whenever you're making any tags of any kind um, it, you can space them wherever it makes sense for you so that was a nice uh addition and look at that beautiful merry christmas with the two different fonts so just really good to have. So I think they're doing really well with these, um, these, these kits and the stamp sets in particular. So also they of course have their little ads, which um, this one talks about the little uh, gift bags. They're tiny. They don't fit very much in here, but you know, you can get some flat candy in there, like peppermint patties um, and of course gift cards go in there really well but this is what they look like and you can order them um, at the online store and then on the other side they talk about the next kit which is good things come um, in small packages here's Linda yay I'm so glad she made it Linda Puccini here you go hi Linda welcome hi Brenda hi hi we're just opening the box so you haven't missed anything Okay, great. So um, I always open the box at first and see what we have inside and it'll help us separate out our pieces, etc. But I'm going through the ads now. So this one actually also has something that uh, coordinates that you can purchase if you want. This kind of, uh, It's going to be gift card holders. So you, when you get it, it still will be in time for you to make them before the holidays if you want, but they are generic. They are not Christmassy. Um, but they also have a set of coordinating ent cards and envelopes that can go with the gift card holder. So that's just something if you're interested, uh, you can purchase that. So let's go in. Oh, look, we have pretty green paper. Usually it's orange or blue, light blue, right? Sorry, I'm making so much noise. So this way, get rid of that. And here's our kit. I always love opening the kit. Always the best part. So why don't we, well, as we're going through it, we can sort out what we need at the same time. <coughs> so I'm just going to get out our instruction. The instructions are on the reverse side, right at the very bottom, but I'm going to pull mine out. And then I have another set here somewhere. And I'm going to follow along on the last page, which shows me what goes with what tag. Okay. So now that I have that out, we have our lovely uh, mint macaron twine. So that's a color that we don't normally have. So it's a little something fun. So they are tying bows, but you can do whatever you want with this twine. <laughs> as in not use it if you don't want to. You can definitely <laughs> do that. And then we have our three different tags. And actually, 
if you want to go ahead and let's separate these, just the, just one set of them. The striped one, which is the first one, is goes with number two. Okay, so I'm putting it in the center. So I'm going to make piles one, two, and three for our different tags. The crumb cake striped one is with card with tag number one. And actually, the holly jolly also goes with number two. And we'll get to the other one in a few minutes. So that uses up a whole thing. Oh, yay. We can put the rest of those to the side for you to make and use as you like. So once you have that, then we get to the next set of punch outs. And we're going to go, I'm just going to start with the big circle that has the, the um, shaded spruce scallops around the outside. Try to say that three times fast. Shaded spruce scallops. That goes with number three. And then one of the little Santa hats is going to go with number one. Okay. Let me know if I'm going too fast. I'm trying to slow down, but you know how I get. <laughs> I don't mean to. The next is one of the Happy Holidays strips. So you see, you have two of them on here. We just need one, and that's going to go with the first tag, number one. One of the four U's, this one, goes with number two. And this, I think, is my favorite part of the kit. It's this little shaded spruce topper. And you'll see when we use it later what it does. But I just love the way that it looks. And I'll, I'll leave it as a surprise to later. And that's with number three. And so that's all you need from this sheet of cutouts or punch outs. And the rest we can put away. Oops. Yeah, don't throw that other one away because there's still stuff on there. <laughs> I almost threw it away. Okay. Now, this one was a little bit tricky because it doesn't really show it in the instructions, but you're going to take one of each of these that have the colors at the end, and it doesn't matter which color goes with which, but you want one of each of these for each of the tags. So that was a little problem in the instructions, I thought. I'm fixing that for you by telling you. Doesn't matter which one because they all coordinate, they all use the same colors, so it's great. But the big one, so there are four or five big ones, that what one of those big ones goes with tag number one. Okay. I like it when it's these tags because you can see everything. Otherwise, I run out of space, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Are we good to move on to the next one? Yep. All right, here we go. So for this one, we take one of the circles. And this one goes with number two. And one of the ho, ho, ho banners, or o, 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 because it's upside down, right? <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. Goes with number one, which has the Santa hat. Makes sense. And I love that they give us some extra candy canes, which is always nice. I think one extra one, but I'll take it. And the candy cane goes with number two. And that is it from this page. So we just check out three things. Check out this gorgeous glimmer paper. So again, it's the mint macaron and it's, um, you know, you can turn it over to see where it's cut. But these, there are four tags on here and we're going to use one of those for tag number three. 
okay but oh so pretty and mm -hmm. little hint if you save you can save the little circles from the hole <laughs> and you can use them as like accents on your card if you want on a, on a different card if you want so that goes with number three i just love this slimmer paper we do not carry that right now so that's another extra and then we have these giant white tags so there's four of them we just need one and this two will go with number three boy that was confusing sorry this goes with tag number three so you can kind of see how we're going to do some layering and pull them together and then they gave us some some more of the glimmer paper so this has a pretty snowflake check it out i just love it and it comes out so easily and oh i just love it and this one goes with number one and they gave us some more of the, the iridescent snowflakes and we're going to use three of these on card number three And the last thing that they have are just little dots. So again, I always use my own adhesive. That's just me. But, you know, if you want to use them, certainly can. So that's everything out of our package. And we're all sorted already. So how about that? We have gotten very efficient at this process. <laughs> just fun. Makes it, you know, because we want to be crafting. We don't want to be messing around. All right, so is everybody good? Are we all, everybody sorted and everything? Good, yep. all right, excellent. So let's go ahead and start with number one. So now I'm gonna pull down the pieces I have for number one. And the first thing they like us to do is to stamp. And so we have a few stamps we're using on this one. The first one is Ho Ho Ho. and the ho 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 is the outline. So we're actually going to be outlining the crumb cake ho ho ho. All right. So I, of course, also use my full size pad just because it's easier for me. Go ahead and open your little one if you don't have the big one. And as I said, we're just going to outline. It does fit perfectly, but I find it hard for me to line up just because I have a hard time seeing through it because it's a light color. So I don't always line it up perfectly. That's just a spoiler alert. Oh, I did it though. I got it this time. On my original sample, I did not. Let me take that out so you can see what we're doing. I forgot to show you. So this is the tag we're making. Put that here so you can see. So there's the ho ho ho. Give you a, a minute to do that. Okay. okay, so we stamp the little tag. Yeah, so uh -huh. it already says ho ho ho, and the okay. stamp is going to outline the the uh, crumb cake ho ho ho, which is printed with the um, yeah cherry cobbler. Yeah, I wish I had my glasses on. I know. Well, I told you I have new contacts and I don't need them, but for that I probably could have used them. But yeah, I've been doing much better. <laughs> it's been so freeing. <laughs> I can't even believe it. Not having to wear my read have you know, looking for my reading glasses all the time. So is it I just for reading? reading? What's that? It's just for reading your contacts? No, no, no. My contacts are for everything, but they've been upgraded so that they, I always had oh, bifocals in my contacts, but it okay. wasn't enough. And gotcha. so they switched it and now it is. I Linda, how did you yeah. do with that? I did good. Good. Okay. Lynn, you're good? Yep. Okay. Good. So the next thing we're going to stamp is on the larger uh, white tag. 
And that one is going to say from Santa. So now I have to find mine from over here. And it seems that I lied. One of the, remember I, I said, oh, we didn't have those little ones. I don't think the little one is used on this. We'll see. So anyway, it just, um, they have it with the, uh, the flagging to the right side. And then you just do the from Santa in the middle. Ta-da. Oh, I see. Okay. And if you did it wrong, just flip it over because this one, that, you know, it's white on both sides. So that happens. So what I was saying is this little tag that has the, the color at the end is not used on this card. The other two need it and it's not shown in the, in the photo. So anyway. So everybody give me a thumbs up when you finish your stamping. All right, Linda, I see you. And Lynn. Lois, you good? Okay, excellent. Okay, so now we can assemble. That's how simple this is. So for the assembly, what they suggest is taking the hat and we're going to put it right on top of the ho 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 because you know like where else would it go right that made sense to me so a little bit of adhesive on the top and you're just putting it on and you can put it out at a little angle if you want or not And then they took the other one that we stamped and they just put a little adhesive at the very top of it. So I'm just going to swipe from the top and they tucked it behind so that you could, it sticks out. Now, I don't know, I, did, I had it stick out a little too far on this one because it made a giant tag. So I'm going to angle mine a little bit more up and down. So there we go. Ho, ho, ho from Santa. Because again, who else would it be from? I do like it. You. And then they took the happy holidays and they just put adhesive on the right side of it, the back right because it's going to hang off a little bit. And this too, they put at an angle and it covers one of the hose, ho, ho, hose. <laughs> the point still gets across. It's a little collage, a little collage that's going to go on the tag. And I just love that they're all stamped and colored for us. Very easy. Then we're going to just assemble the tag part. So we have our tag, our cake tag, and our beautiful big snowflake. And on the big snowflake, we're just going to put a little adhesive uh, again on the right side. I just use the regular adhesive. I don't, it's, I don't really have a problem with it coming through. And you don't even need that much. But it's going to go on the left side of the tag. So that's why you put the adhesive on the right side of the tag, of the snowflake. Oh, I know it's we not what you meant. Yeah, but it's not helpful when I say the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm trying. I had a call earlier today with somebody from Stampin' Up, 
and the two of us, like we could not find our words. It was <laughs> painful for a little while there. We just, you know, like, oh, what is that word? What am I thinking of? What's the name of that stamp set? Um, it's kind of funny. We were all kind of in that mood. All right, so once you have that down, we're just gonna take our little collage and we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back. Now they gave us mini dimensionals. You could certainly use them. I'm just gonna use my own stash. You can see I'm at the very bottom of this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put two. They recommended four, but I don't know. I think two is plenty. And I just put it on the back of the ho, ho, ho myself. What I did. And then they put it on to the tag at a bit of a jaunty angle, covering a little bit of the snowflake. I'm actually going to move mine over a little bit. I don't think it's far enough. There we go. If my dog is too loud, let me know and I'll. Go on me. Oh, there she goes. I don't hear her. Oh, okay. there she goes. All right. <laughs> she's not liking that I'm here and she's up there. So. No, <laughs> I, I can't hear her at all. Is there a candy cane that goes on too? No. No candy cane. That's just from that second card. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Got it. Yep. Did we have another tag? Yeah, so I had said to take oh. out the other tag, but that's the one I said that it, it actually is not on this card. Oh. But the oh, other okay. two, it didn't tell you to take them out, but you do need them. So I just okay. I just made a mistake there. So now we're gonna take our twine and do whatever we want with it, but they recommend using 12 inches. So Open it up, and you know that you have a ruler. In case you didn't know or you forgot, there is a ruler on the side of the instructions. So everybody has a handy ruler, and we're just doing 12 inches. So that's right there. And give it a snip, and then you can, as I said, you can tie it any way you want. So if for example, if you're going to be putting this on a package, you might want to tie it around the, you know, the top of the package. If, if for the package you're just adhering it as opposed to tying it on, then maybe you want to tie a bow. I'm going to assume that's what I'm going to do just because I probably will make cards out of all of my tags or most of my tags. I'll probably save a couple of tags, but I don't use a lot of tags personally. But I know, Linda, you got this kit specifically because they're tags, right? Yes. You can use them for gifts. Uh-huh. And you'll be able to mass produce them. <laughs> right. I know you have two kits, so you'll be able to yeah. do it. Now that you know how to do it, you'll be able to throw them together really quickly. Yes. Wow. But I yeah. also, I did it as a bow. And what's nice about that is that I could always untie it later and tie it on if I wanted to. So I just did a bow at the top. So that's it for that um, sample. That, that's our first tag. There we go. Let me put this one in the box. So is everybody good on that one? Yep. Is it all done? Right. So we can go on to number two. Whoops, sorry. My arm. Is up. So this one there is this cute little one and lots of layering going on here. Okay. So the only stamping we're doing here is on that little tag that they didn't tell you originally that you need it. And they put no peeking, but you could put whatever I think um, open me fits. And I guess that you could do the open me or the no peeking. But I'm going to do the no peeking as they recommend, or as they did in their sample. 
So here we go, no peeking. Very cute. And they just did it right in the middle. No peeking. And again, that's the only stamping on this one. This one is really fast and easy. Oh, Beth, you're back. Hello. <laughs> All right, so now we have our little no peeking. Everybody okay to move on? Yep. Yep. Okay, Beth, you okay? I hope she can hear me. Okay, okay, yep, thumbs up. All right, so now we're going to take our two little tags and we're going to join them together and we're just literally going to put adhesive on the back of the uh, Holly Jolly and you just want to make sure that you line up the hole. And so it goes to the very top. It's holly jolly. Holly jolly. Always cute. And then once you have that, we are going to put our candy cane onto our circle. And they did it at an angle. I'm only putting a little, I'm just putting adhesive down the middle of the candy cane, uh, the, the longer part. I'm just not gonna put any up there. It'll stay just fine. So that goes on like that. And next we're gonna do the for you. And this is where the teeny tiny ones come in handy. So as you know, you can always use more teeny tiny ones if you need a bigger one. Or of course, if you only have the bigger ones, you can cut them down to be teeny tiny. Oops, so I'm just gonna use two. More than enough. And it's just gonna go across the center of the candy cane. For you. Go. And then that little collage is going to go in the center of the Tag. I'm just going to go back to my regular. I'm just using one dimensional, one big one. You can use two or three little ones. And I'm putting it so that the for you is straight. Easy peasy. And then once you have that, then you're going to take your twine. We're going to measure out 12 inches again. That's what they recommend. I have a little ruler on my my grid paper, but you could go, you know, always, you could eyeball it, or you could just use the one on the instructions. Now this one, what they did was they strung it through the hole on the no peeking. So you can do that or not, of course, you don't have to. I can't uh, seem to get, here we go. Got a little threading trouble. <laughs> not that small a hole, all right. I just licked it, yes I did. I know, some people find <laughs> that gross. I did the same thing. 
I have to. I didn't have any trouble with it the other day. But... All right, so once you have that threaded through, then you can tie your bow or knot. And you can also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use a little adhesive on the back of the no peaking once I get it in place um, so that I can have it at the, the angle that I want so that it stays. So I'm just doing the bow again because I don't know how I'm going to use my tag, but I am going to just put a little adhesive onto my tag. And you certainly, that's, that's up to you. It is not part of the instructions, <laughs> but that's just what I did, just so that I think it looks. Otherwise, it kind of floats around. And that's it. Ah. Easy peasy. All right. So we are on to our last tag. And this is the tag. It's very pretty. Um, I do have a couple of tips for us for this one. The first is the hardest part about the whole kit is lining up the circle stamp with the reindeer in the center of the, you know, shaded spruce scallop circle that we have. So what I like to do, I make sure that I put it on something darker. So I'm using my silicone mat, which I don't normally stamp on, but for this, I just needed some more contrast for my eyes. And remember, for this one especially, let's ink it up. And for you, if you're using the small one, you're going to want to do it upside down to make sure that you get all of it. Uh, Sometimes I did have trouble at first with the center of the reindeer. Um, and then you want to take the stamp and stamp on some scratch paper. Okay. And you can see how that goes. Now, if you have a stamparatus and you want to do that, that's always a good idea. But I'm not going to do that. So you want to do it on some scratch paper so that you can get the ickies off, like the oil that they use to manufacture the um, stamp. And then you want to ink it up again really well. The whole thing, I don't mean to. And then you're just going to aim it for the middle. Just make sure you press really hard in the middle. Ta-da! You can see mine's not perfect, <laughs> but I'm gonna call it close enough. If you really don't like it, you could always take a blender pen and um, smooth that out if you wanted to. Um, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I managed to get it really nicely over here on my sample. And my ink pad is dry, dries out so fast for some reason. It's one of those not so great ink pads. <laughs> All right, so let me know how you do. Good. Everybody get that done? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay, so now we're going to take, uh, like we did on the last one, we're going to line up these two tags. The white is on the bottom and the sparkly glimmer paper is on top. And so you're going to line up the holes. Whoops, stay there. All right. And if you line up the holes, you're going to get equal on both sides. And the bottom, perfectly layered. 
And this is where the awesome little tag topper comes in. So it's this little shaded spruce piece. Hmm. And I always want to, you know, I'm looking at it with the circle up, but if you flip it over and the circle is down, you'll see that it will be a reinforcement around the circle and then also give you a nice line at the top, contrasting line. So I'm going to take my my uh, silicone mat again so that I can make sure I just get the adhesive where I want and then get it down there just at the top and it lines up perfectly. I don't know. I just thought that was really clever and cute and something we we haven't had before. <laughs> now, you would cute. think that we would have dyes or something for it. We might, and I just never noticed it, but I just really like that. And then it's just a matter of putting our circle on. Uh, you can put it on an angle. Uh, you do want to use dimensional for this. I'm going to use two down the center. Just make sure you don't put them too far to the outside because you don't want it to hang off. The um, You don't want the the dimensionals to hang off the tag, right? Makes sense. Otherwise it's gonna to stick to everything. And then you can use your little um, snowflakes. Now with the, the iridescent snowflakes, you wanna make sure that you're putting the adhesive on the back side, okay? So make sure you've got the shiny side. You can definitely see in the light which side is shiny and which side isn't. So I'm just using, again, regular adhesive for these. You could, I guess, put them on dimensional, but uh, is isn't what they did and I kind of just do what they do. But the hard part is once you poke them out, it's making sure that you put the adhesive on the the non shiny side. Oops. I'm just putting one of the, put the express delivery on the glitter paper with because it's not with uh, what? Yeah, it's picking, and that's why. It's what? I'm sorry. It's not sticking to the glimmer paper. But you did you use dimensionals or no? Well, I am now. Yeah, yeah. Two dimensionals? I used two. Just make sure they're not going to hang off the tag. No, they're not. Okay, thanks. Now it's better. Sure. Yeah. And so there we have our little snowflakes on there. And again, I thought they wanted us to use this little tag, but they didn't. <laughs> so you've got lots of little extra tags that you can use to attach or not attach to your, your bigger tags. So again, it's 12 inches. And tying a bow. I could have sworn there was one that said open. Open me. Where did that go? There is, because I used it on another one. Well, I know that there's a stamp, but I thought, oh yeah, they showed, oh, they used open me and I used no peeking. That's what right. Yeah. Sorry about that. I guess I like the no peeking better. <laughs> Okay, and again, I'm just tying the bow. Maybe that's that. So as you can see, they're pretty easy to do, which is always nice. And what I love is that you can make them into cards if you want. So I just took a piece of um, 
white thick cardstock and I put a piece of black on top and I actually have these as mix or match. I'm going to just adhere one of my tags to the front of this to make a card. You don't have to do anything fancy. Just give it a little a little background and look at that fun. So now I have a card. Yay. <laughs> that's one. And then you could also, this one, I made the background with the um, whimsical trees embossing folder and I took a white ink pad and just kind of brushed it over the top so that I could get this fun background and then I'm going to take another of the tags and I'm going to make it into a card. I just used one there and I just randomly am choosing them. So here we go. Here's another card. Very fun and easy and then or what was the first ah was the first one you don't even have to do the other fancy stuff that I did I just took one piece of cherry cobbler cardstock and I'm going to just add using my edges here these are just the edges of the um dimensionals I'm going to put this down and for this I just want to make sure it stays on the the card it doesn't hang off and here we are there's another card, right? So it's so easy to make these tags into cards. One, two, three. So that is that. And then I have some more samples that I found or created. My, some of them I even created myself. So this one is very similar to the one that I did before. So it has the whimsical trees background, but it, and so then, but with the snowflake, what I did is I cut the snowflake in half so that it would show on either side so that I didn't have to waste two snowflakes because, you know, I'm going to hoard them <laughs> as much as I can. So that's what that is. And I did put these on with dimensional this time. That's one. And then this one used one of the snowflakes from the last kit with so an ir big iridescent snowflake. And then this this paper in the background is some of the paper that's in the lights aglow um, mm. special it's specialty paper so it's a little shimmery and I have a lot of it or I, ha I have like, like two whole sheets so I'm like huh I gotta start using that right because we're getting you know I'm not going to use it after this month so that was another and then I just made it into a fun fold using the tag I just put the adhesive on one side of the tag and folded the front back and that just makes it look a lot more exciting right and I just used some of our ruffled ribbon and some of our white twine um, that's that and then this one I used some of the candy cane paper that we have um, that is retiring just so that everybody knows one of the many items that are retiring and I just made this into a bow so I didn't have to string anything through. And that was done in reds as opposed to cherry cobbler. This one, I used that special delivery stamp as the background. How simple is this? Oh, that's smart, right? So easy. Yeah. So none of these are fancy fancy, but they're certainly, you know, worth sending. This is, I just put one of the tags onto one of the bags. So you may be seeing something that looks like this if you come to class next week. <laughs> <laughs> just just saying, if I get around to it. <laughs> but that, no, that's the plan. These little bags for that. And this one I saw Rachel Tessman did. She used, you know, half a snowflake and this is this is literally this wide. And she cut it from the edge of the snowflake paper. So she just cut like uh -huh. down here and she That's made smart. it that size. Isn't that great? I just I love, love this card. Yeah. And you can't get much more simple than that. And, you know, you don't need to stamp anything. You're just gluing it down. So, yeah, I thought that was terrific. And then one more. I just cut it. This is actually also 
cleverly done from the outside of the tag. So remember that stripe tag? The very edge of it, up at the top and the bottom, gave me just the right size to frame, kind of frame this. And so that's how I got that. So easy peasy. And uh, yeah, that's what I have. Very Yay. nice. Very uh, cute. Thank you. Oh, so nice. I will, thank you. I will send those out. I have to get the photos taken of them. Oh, um, so I will do that. Should have done that when I was taking pictures of the other things. I forgot. <laughs> um, so that'll get posted. And so class is next class is next Friday and Saturday, the 9th and 10th. And uh, we will not be making Christmas cards, just so that you know. So if you're expecting that, I, I'm done. Oh, well, not really, but... <laughs> You're done for you're done for I'm, class. I'm done for these classes, yes. <laughs> well, that was you Which know. I, look, take a look at this. Wait a second. This isn't even all of them, but I have this box. Let me. Oh yes, you can see it like that. Check out this box of Christmas cards that we've made. Wow. We've made like thirty some different designs since wow. since July. Since July. Yeah. Wow. So wow. that's a lot. And, you know, I try to make some extras and of course the paper pumpkin last month and this month, I think are in there too. But um, yeah, it's amazing how many cards we've made and how many different designs. So it's, uh, okay. yeah, it's very, um, you know, I feel like we accomplished something, right? So, I did. That, yep. And so always look for me on Wednesdays at three o'clock. Let me, let me transfer back to me so you can see me talk. Not that that's exciting, but, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I will be live on Facebook. <laughs> to the top of my head now. Um, live on Facebook, uh, on my Facebook page, Stampin' with Brenda, every Wednesday at three o'clock, but it also records and it also streams to YouTube live. So you can catch me there. Uh, sometimes I'll be doing cards you've seen. Sometimes I'll be doing cards you haven't seen. But I'll be giving more instructions and measurements and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's it. Does anybody have any questions? Brenda, no? I, I was losing you a little. On the second tag, can you just uh -huh. show the one that said uh, the candy cane one? Yeah. Just got to pull it out. Sorry. Now I have a whole mess over here. Oh, no. All right, I just threw them all together. Uh, yes, let me bring my camera back. All right, and yes. I just, I didn't get where you tied the bow on. Yeah, I would just wanted to see how you did it. Okay. Oh, I just, I just threaded it through. Mm -hmm. And I threaded it through both holes. And then I tied a bow and then I used some adhesive just to, to glue it down. Gotcha. It. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's not, it's not uh, elegant, but it works <laughs> for me. No, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. I'm not elegant. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. No problem. Thank you for asking. All right. Well, let me get my hands out of there. That's not so exciting. If there's <laughs> nothing else, um, I will see you hopefully sometime next week. All right. Thank you, Brenda. Sure. Thank you. Thank Everybody so much. have a great week. Take care. Thanks, you too. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. -bye. Bye.